Nyajong, my name is the my name and I am a Hmong girl. Uh, today, my friend, many friend ask me every day to show them how to do my makeup, and I never want to tell them my secret because I want to be the only one beautiful. But you know, I am Christian. I go to church, and my my pastor teach me that I should share the wealth with other people when I know something. So today, I will show you guys my beauty secret. Okay. First, this is very popular style in my country that I come from and my village, truly Alia. Oh, don't you play off? I have to find my hair clip. I see it somewhere, but I don't remember. Oh, oh this is one you can buy at the dollar store is a pack of four for one dollar and in these hard economic time you need to save as much money as you can so you see I do this and this is very popular hairstyle from the young little girl to the old lady like my grandma and she teach me how to do this it's very easy let me fix it a little bit okay this hairstyle attract many men Dang. Everybody said that as you get older, you need to moisturize. And there's no need to use expensive, expensive lotion. Like this one I buy, but it's very expensive. It's $14.99 at Walmart. But I very calcium, so I don't want to use it all. <laughs> but I had this one called mousse. And it worked for your hair to make your hair have volume. But I find that just a little bit on your face make your hair very soft too. So you just put it on your face. You shush all around in a circle and save your money because one can like this is only $1.98 and you don't want to use your expensive one. Okay, after I finish, I wipe off the excess. And it's okay if you wait because it's only $1.98 at Walmart. Okay, so my first thing I need to do is I need to put on my concealer. And I have my Bare Minerals ID right here that I buy from the mall. It's very expensive, so I use very little only because I feel like a young, I don't have dark circle like other people. Okay, so I use my Bare Minerals Small Concealer Brush. As you can see, I am very kind of lazy, so I don't clean it. You can see that it's a little bit dirty, but I use the clean side. And you put it around your eyes like this, just a little bit, because it's expensive. You don't want to use a lot. Then after that, I use my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation because you need to have foundation to make your skin look beautiful. So you just put a little on your fingertip and you rub it on your face. You need to blend very well. Blending is the secret to good makeup. Start, okay? See, I blend so well. Okay, after you're done, you wipe off the excess also. Okay, so a lot of my influences that I get from my makeup comes from our, our Ta Mong, and it's very colorful. Our culture is known to be very colorful. So I always like to start with very colorful eyeshadow because I feel like it makes you stand out in the crowd. Sometimes I had trouble, so give me a minute. Okay, you see all the different colors? This is called a value. And like I said, the dollar store. You can't beat that. So right now, I want to start with the highlighter. So I use a different one color. And a highlighter for your eyes should always highlight your face. So I say you use the most brightest, boldest color that you can. And I use this one called eggplant purple right here. You just brush it under your brow like this. You see how it makes my eye pop? Okay, it's so colorful. Okay, you see that? I look beautiful already. I don't need anything else, but today, just to show you guys my makeup secret, I will show you my whole routine. 
Okay, after that, I use my smaller round brush because I want to use a smaller one to do a different color because I w I'm very inspired by rainbow too. So I want to do a rainbow color one. My brother is gay and I go to the gay pride parade with him every year and that's where I draw a lot of my inspiration from too. Okay, so my other color I want to use is this color called aqua. And then you do another layer under the purple. You do this just above your crease. You see that? It makes my eye look bigger. And when you age in that, it's very important. Oh, and I mentioned these brush I get from the dollar store as well. You buy one dollar, you use one dollar, and you get a pack of 12 for it. It don't matter if it's not good quality. It does the same job. Other people who spend lots of money for brush are just stupid. And when I see them, I spit on them. Next one, uh, I'm going to use a different color and my one of my favorite color is the yellow. So I use this one, it's called mustard. And I put it just underneath that one. Oh, I look so beautiful already. Okay. Make sure to extend it all the way too because it makes your eye look bigger. Okay. All right, now for your lid, you need to use a color that will make your eye look bigger. And I find that when you use the hot pink, it makes your eye look beautiful and very big. And this one is called hot pink. Oh, look at that. I love it. I call this one design Momo Pink because this is the color they wear on their dress. I can't believe that I was going so beautiful. Beautiful people like me should not exist because it makes everybody else jealous. Okay. Then after I'm done, I always put on the eyeliner. And I have a this one that I buy from Walmart as well. It's called Revlon. And it's only $6.99. It's a lot of money. I use my whole paycheck on this. But it's okay because it's worth it. It lasts me a long time too. So you, when you do your eyeshadow, you don't want it. People tell you that you do on the lash line, but I don't believe that. I think that to make your eye bigger, you need to do it on top. So I go like this. I line my out right higher. You see how you make my eye look bigger? And you want to extend it so that you give you the illusion of your eye being big. You see how right now people think my eye looks so big, it go all the way over here. And people always say you should underline the bottom of your eye because it defines your eye. But my beauty secret today is you don't do that. You extend it lower so it makes your eye look bigger. Okay. Oh, it broke. You know what? Luckily, I have another one right here. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. bigger now nobody would think that I'm aging because I have big eye okay and I do the same to the other side but you see how big my eye look now I don't even look Asian anymore okay so now what I want to do is I want to contour my cheek because when I smile I want people to see the apple on my cheek so one secret that my mom taught me, she said, you don't need to spend your money on fancy, on fancy, um, blush. I have blush, but you know, my secret is I always try to be economic. And if I have lipstick already, I will use it. And this is a long hell Hmong tradition. And my mom will probably, Mugu, kill if she knew that I told you guys this. But you know what? You guys are my fan on YouTube and I will show you guys. Okay? Because you guys have been asking me. So you use this lipstick. It's from... LA color and you buy this from the dollar store too okay so you open it up like this and you put a little circle on your cheek <coughs> oh excuse me it's the I think I had the cold this week okay so two little circles the side of 
a quarter will do for your whole cheek. So the secret is that you do this and then you blend with your finger. And I always smile so I know where the apple on my cheek is when I smile. And then I wipe on my finger with my white again. And you don't need to use so many. One is enough because these things are very expensive. You don't want to waste it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so right now I am done with my base foundation and my eyes. But I had not do my eyebrow yet. Okay, so I need to do my eyebrow. I had to find a different color. And I use my brush again that I buy from the dollar store. And today I think for my eyebrows, because I have the red going on, I think I will use a red too to match my blush because it's very important to color cornet also. So I use the this one. We call this one chili tomato. This color right here down here. And you use your blush. And you put it on your eyebrow. You see how the color blends so well with my blush? I like to extend it just a little bit because my eye big now, so I need to make my eyebrow as big as my eye. Okay. Wow, I look beautiful. I can't believe it's so beautiful. Now this is thick. I use the same color as in my blush right here. And so we Asians, so we have little mouth. So what I like to do when I put on the lipstick is I like to make it a little bit bigger so that my lip look big, like the white woman. And the secret is that you extend the lipstick over the edge of your lip just a little bit so it looks bigger when you smile. Okay, but you see how my lip looks so big now and so juicy, kind of like Angelina Jolie. Oh, you know, one thing I forgot is I forgot to contour my nose. Because Asian people, we have very flat nose. You see that? So I want to make my nose stand out that to look like a white woman, like Nicole Kidman. Okay, so I try to use a color that is close to my skin color. And this is the one right here that we call Mong Tang. What I like to do is start from this side of my eyebrow. I like to contour my nose to make it look like I have a Kyungju because that is very important in our Hmong culture. You don't want to be known as a Blanju. Okay, so now you see that my nose looks like I have a bridge now because I use a darker color on the side right here and I highlight the little bridge that I have right here because I am not a plunger. I am all done right now. You see my makeup? I look so beautiful. Everybody asks me every day, oh, my name, how you do your makeup like that? You look so beautiful. All the men at our factory want to date you and I never want to tell them because I want all the men to myself. But today... Yes, last week I went to church and my preacher said, if hey, you know something good, then you need to spread the wealth and the knowledge to everybody because if you don't, then you are being selfish. So today I show you guys all my beautiful beauty secret. And I hope that you guys can take a lot from what I learned over the years and you guys can apply this to yourself because it's so important to look beautiful every day. If you don't look beautiful, nobody like you.
Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.